Okay, cool. Hi guys, it's Jack, it's FTM Kingdom, it's Thursday, and uh, this week's topic is about uh, STP devices and packing. Um, it's just going to be a really quick video for me because I've got to leave for work in about 10 minutes, so I haven't got any trousers on or anything yet, so um, yeah. Um, I don't pack unless I'm, I've got my STP, uh, and I only use that or wear that. Um, if I'm going out drinking really or I mean it is mainly when I'm going out drinking um, or when I'm somewhere where I know I'm going to be uncomfortable using the male toilets um, otherwise because I feel like it kind of affirms that I'm supposed to be there when I'm using the urinals if that makes sense um, yeah so I got my packers from uh, Love Honey, I think, uh, which is essentially a sex toy website, and I got the Mr. Limpy Packers. Uh, now I started off with the, I think this is the medium or the small or something. I'm not sure, but one like the color of it just, it's not. Uh, if, if you've got a skin tone like that, then you probably have a disease. Um, and it's quite big as well, and. So then I got this is this is my old one, so it looks really gross. But this is the extra small one. Um, so as you can see, it's a lot smaller, and the skin tone is, you know, it's matches me a lot more. Um, now, if you're just packing, then this one is is probably going to be the best one, the first one that I showed you, because it's bigger and, um, you know, like this. It, it looks a little bit small, so it's kind of like you might as well not pack. But I mean, I know some guys pack because it's not about the um, actual how it looks, it's about how it feels, which is fair enough. I feel a lot more manly when I've got mine in. I'm constantly like touching my crotch and like readjusting it and stuff, you know. Um, so this is my STP device. I haven't actually fixed it together yet, so um, yeah. So basically it's the same packer, it's got tubing in it, um, yeah, which goes all the way through obviously to the base, end to the base, to the, mm. um, and then this thing is basically the bit that goes on your junk. Now they attach together, okay, which is something that I haven't done yet because uh, it's going to take a lot of effort. Um, now you can buy them readily attached, but I bought uh, just I just bought some more tubing for mine because it was starting to look really gross. Um, so this thing, right? Now no one had told me how to use an STP before, so it took me a hell of a lot of tries before I realised where it was supposed to go. If that makes sense. Um, and obviously you don't want to be there for ages, like fondling with your with your parts. Um, because that would just look a bit weird. Um, so, yeah, if you do get get or use an STP, definitely practice uh, at home, maybe in the shower, because there's going to be pee going everywhere to start with. Um, yeah. So basically, right, vaginal anatomy. Your clitoris. I, I know this sounds stupid, but you know, there are some people that probably won't know this. But basically, you've got your clit, right? Or your penis, whatever you want to call it. Underneath that, you've got your pee hole. And then underneath that, you've got your actual vagina, which is the bit where babies come out of, your blood comes out of, and things go inside of it. Um, but pee does not come out of there. So this thing, you have to make sure... Well. <laughs> I put this thing inside me, see it's not that much so it, you know it doesn't affect me and then this bit cups around everything else. Um, so it kind of creates a nice seal and then because the pee is coming out of you anyway it just shoots down and out of your penis. Um, yeah, I find it uncomfortable to have this inside me when I'm walking and stuff 
So, you know, when I'm peeing, I put my hand down my trousers, put it in, take my penis out, and pee, and then pull it back out again. I've kind of mastered the art of doing it one-handed. Some people will still have to do, do it with two hands, whatever. But I hold this bit against myself with my little finger, and then the rest of it I hold with my the other parts of my hand basically so it, it looks better than that when I'm doing it but you know so I'm, I'm still pushing this in so it's not leaking um, and then I've got control of my actual pee stream because I'm holding my penis um, now I don't find it essential to pack because I don't really tend to look at people's junk and you know it, it, it can get a little bit uncomfortable and stuff um, and I have I had an incident once where I was just packing and my boxes were too loose and it almost fell down my leg um, which could have been slightly awkward but I mean if you want to pack go for it um, Miss, if you obviously if you live in the UK, I pretty much the only ones I've heard of is the Mr. Limpy ones, um, and it's very easy to make your own STP. You just have to get a Mr. Limpy packer, get um, like a metal skewer thing that's heat it up like on the hob or something, and then stab it through, and then rinse it through with water to create the hole. Getting the actual tubing in after is, is harder, uh, but you can actually find a lot of videos of people doing that on YouTube. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, if you like, if you want to pack, then go for it. It's not going to make you any more or less trans if you pack or if you stand up to pee or whatever. The only reason that I use my STP is when I think I'm going to feel uncomfortable going into the cubicles. Um, but in all fairness, when I'm in the guys' toilets anyway, no one looks at anyone um, at all. And, you know, the last thing guys are going to say is, you're not supposed to be in here. That's, yeah, there's pretty much no interaction in the guys' toilets at all. Um, although it does make it easier if you need to pee and there's no toilets available. Because you can pee in a bush. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I've got to go to work now. Um, so I'm sorry this wasn't a regular video. But I'll put some links to things uh, in the description later when I'm back from work. Or have free time, whatever. Um, so I hope you guys have a good Thursday. And I'll see you next week. Bye.